Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline on this Sunday, June 13th. I'm Dave Lehman, the Bishop of Caledonia. I'm joined this evening by the Dean. Hello. And we are on the traditional ancestral nunciate territory of the Shimshan people in Prince Rupert, a privilege we gratefully acknowledge. Our worship this evening is found in the Book of Common Prayer and begins on page 722. As it is Sunday, I share with you something off my reading pile. And this week's uh, offering is God's Church for God's World, a Practical Approach to pr uh, Partnership and Mission by uh, Robert Heaney, who spoke to the House of Bishops uh, not that long ago. Uh, John Kafonka, who was um, the Director of Mission for the Anglican Communion, and a uh, really, really fabulous guy. And Hilda Kabia, uh, Principal of um, a Theological College in Tanzania. And this is written to supplement some of the stuff for the Lambeth Conference happening in 2022 now. Uh, there's, there was uh, some new stuff come out last little bit in conversations the last week that made me think of this book and pull it out and begin to uh, read through it as those conversations begin uh, with bishops from across the communion in a couple weeks. So that is what I am working on this week. As we are in God's presence at the beginning, uh, or as we begin to come into a time of worship, let us pause, be still, and know that we're surrounded by God's grace, mercy, and love. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 134, found on the bottom of page 504. Psalm 134, page 504. We shall say the psalm together. Behold now, praise the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, ye that by night stand in the house of the Lord, even in the courts of the house of our God. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary, and praise the Lord. The Lord that hath made heaven and earth, give thee blessing out of Zion. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the, 17th, or the 18th chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who then is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a little child to him and placed the child among them. And he said, Truly, I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. If anyone causes one of these little ones, those who believe in me, to stumble, it would be better for them to have a large millstone hung around their neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. Woe to the world because of things that cause people to stumble. Such things must come but woe to the person through whom they come. If your hand or your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life maimed or crippled than to have two hands or two feet and be thrown into the eternal fire. And if your eye causes you to stumble, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into the fire of hell. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our worship continues on page 723. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. We say together the Tilicus Antitominum. Before, Before the ending of the day, 
Creator of the world we pray, that with thy wonted favor thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasize. Tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost in thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep us as the apple of an eye. Hide us under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. In the language closest to your heart, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our ancestors, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise Him and magnify Him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord guard us and give us His blessing. Amen. Together, let us say the confession. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore, we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us? That thy people may rejoice with thee. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto thee. The collect for this day. O Lord, who never failest to help and govern them whom thou dost bring up in thy steadfast fear and love, keep us, we beseech thee, under the protection of thy good providence, and make us not to have a perpetual fear, uh, and make us to have a perpetual fear and love of thy holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Visit, we beseech you, O Lord, this place, and drive from it all the snares of the enemy. Let thy holy angels dwell herein to preserve us in peace. And may thy blessing be upon us evermore, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers and petitions for the people and places that are upon your heart upon your hearts, pardon me, this night. Inviting you to name them out loud or share them in the comments box where we may all enter into prayer along with you. We pray this night for all who are suffering from the coronavirus, for those who are in hospital, particularly in ICU beds, for those longing to be in hospital and under medical care, for those who are at home recovering, for those whose recovery is longer and complicated, for those who are at home uh, uh, self-isolating, awaiting test results, and for all anxiously awaiting the vaccines. We pray God's healing hand be upon them and be upon all who suffer this night in mind, body, and soul. Remembering those who are struggling with mental health issues, particularly anxiety and depression. For those deep in grief, from those they've lost to COVID, for the memories uh, of residential schools and for the knowledge of the 215 unmarked, undocumented graves in Kamloops, for those wounded by the pain that has been expressed, particularly the acts of arson and destruction against churches uh, across the country, for those who are deeply wounded and struggling at this time, for those who are struggling with addictions, for those who are awaiting doctor's appointments, diagnoses, surgeries, for all recovering from surgeries, for all undergoing treatments, therapies, and procedures, that God's healing hand will guide and direct those who have care of them and give them wisdom and compassion. We pray this day for teachers, students, schools, as we come to the last weeks of this academic year. We pray for the families that are struggling with um, online and, and um, hybrid learning, for those who are anxious about taking kids to school, and for students who are needing to be adaptive and resilient at this time, for the students who have major life events uh, at this time and they aren't being marked in, in the big normal way, um, and for them to enjoy the events and, and to relish in the accomplishments that they've made, we pray of resiliency for them. And we pray for teachers and all those involved in, in, in education, from administrators to policymakers, to classroom aides and assistants, to IT people, and for the work that is being done, and for the teachers that are working to ensure that the children have the knowledge that they need, and the support and the care, and for the extra miles that teachers are, have been going in these many days. We pray for communities that are preparing for summer programming and preparing to uh, for the the less for the the decrease in restrictions and for all that that means for the planning and for the leaders that are involved and for the volunteers that are able to make our communities such wonderful places. We pray for those who lead across our provinces. Um, across, across this province, particularly. Praying for the members of the Legislative Assembly, for the Premier, for the Cabinet, for the work of Dr. Henry and in the distribution and administration of the vaccines, for the, the upcoming meeting uh, and, and looking at how the restrictions uh, can be decreased and we move to the second phase of the reopening plan. 
We pray for those who lead across the territories and the provinces and for the work that has to happen between them and across this country. We pray for those who lead us federally, for the elected and appointed members of, uh, of Parliament, for the Prime Minister, the Cabinet, for the work of Dr. Tam and her office in procuring and evaluating the vaccines and treatments for the pandemic, and connecting and working on uh, things from national and international levels. We pray for those who lead around the world, for all who give them of themselves for the common good and serve in public office. We pray for those countries that are struggling at this time, remembering Israel and Palestine, from Myanmar, Syria, Chad, Ethiopia, Ireland, Russia, China, remembering the two Michaels. We pray for God's directing hand to be upon all the leaders of the nations. And we pray for those countries struggling with natural disasters, thinking of Yemen, for Congo and St. Vincent with their volcanic activity, for flooding in India and Australia, for the floods and fires across this nation, for all the places that are on your hearts this night. And we pray for the church as it ministers in those locations and around the world, for our vision of Christ's immediacy and presence in the lives of everyone we meet, and the work as we look to see the Holy Spirit at work in their lives as in ours. So we pray for the ministry and the work of Justin Willoughby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, for Linda Nichols, our primate, for Mark McDonald, the National Indigenous Anglican Archbishop, for Lynn McNaughton, our Metropolitan, and for all who lead in the, par in the parishes, both clergy and lay. For all those who are able to gather today for in-person worship, for the celebrations that they were, and for the blessing of being able to gather together. For the work that we have of reconciliation and unity. With all these concerns, with those you've named, we pray. Be mindful, Lord, that people gathered before thee. Care for the infants, guide the young, support the aged, encourage the faint-hearted, collect the scattered, and bring the wandering to thy fold. Travel with the voyagers, defend the widows, shield the orphans, deliver the captives, heal the sick. Succor all who are in tribulation, necessity, anxiety, grief, or depression, or distress. Remember for good all those that love us, and those that hate us, and those that have desired us, and worthy as we are, to pray for them. And those whom we have forgotten, do thou, O Lord, remember. For thou art the helper of the helpless, the saviour of the lost, the refuge of the wanderer, the healer of the sick. Thou who knowest each one's need, hast heard the prayers, Grant unto each according to thy merciful loving kindness and thy eternal love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I invite your thanksgivings for this night, for those grace moments where you saw the hand of God at work in your life, lives of those around you. I am thankful there is um, a Canadian version of the hymn, All Things Bright and Beautiful, and one of the lines is for the loon's wild haunting call and how I got to hear that last night at Camp Caledonia. I tried taking a picture of loons earlier in the day, but every time I went to hit the button, they dove under, and I thought, yep, they're a tease. Uh, but it was lovely to, to be out there last night and to, minister, uh, and to worship with the people in um, Smithers at St. James. It's the first time in many, many months I've celebrated the Eucharist, and so number four with much enthusiasm and for a chance to, to be with the people there. And for Traveling Mercies on the way back, there was enough rain to get all the bugs off the windshield, um, which is one of those things you know you're a rural person when you're thankful for the rain to get the bugs. With your thanksgivings we pray. O most merciful Father, we humbly thank thee for all thy gifts so freely bestowed upon us, 
for life and health and safety, for power to work and leisure to rest, for all that is beautiful in creation and in the lives of men, women, and children. We praise and magnify thy holy name. But above all, we thank thee for our spiritual mercies in Christ Jesus our Lord, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Fill our hearts with all joy and peace in believing through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue on the bottom page 727. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless, keep, and preserve you this night and deed forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our holy hug on the way to bed. I pray you have a most restful night. Tomorrow at 12.15, the dean will be next door at the cathedral for a midday prayer. I invite you to join him on the cathedral's Facebook page for that service. I'll be back tomorrow night, God willing, at 9 o'clock for another service of Compline. Until then, nighty night. I'm a hoople. <laughs>